good reasons for the result to the use of technology in election administration. Even so, I think that an election management body should not rush to introduce technology. Before my retirement, <laughs> some fellow election administrators would say to me, oh, Ghana started introducing technology before we did, but we have now overtaken you. Only to learn not long after that they experienced very serious troubles with their new technologies. It is not helpful to view the introduction of technology in terms of a race for honors. To determine for what it is worth, I have said time and again that my personal take on the issue of introducing technology into election administration is the seemingly contradictory dictum of making haste slowly. But be that as it may, I suppose that we will agree that a cardinal principle of democracy is that legitimate leaders are chosen by the people through their votes in a genuine election. Particularly in our electoral environments, which are inundated with suspicion and mistrust, for technology to advance the cardinal principle, it is important that the processes associated with it have four features. They are easy for all concerned to use. They are accessible, secure, and sustainable. They contain sufficient safeguards to ensure transparency, fairness, and accuracy. And their outputs are auditable in case of controversy. We all know that technology can be used to solve problems of efficiency, but it should not be acceptable for technology to uh, promote efficiency at the expense of these features. Mm -hmm.